The trade deadline is upon us, and apparently I have a couple corrections to make. I confused everyone on the uh, predictions. Um, I, I did say someone was correct with uh, saying, like, Duclair on the team and, like, Darlene for the league, but Darlene didn't lead the league. And then that led to more confusion as people thought there was actually a clean sweep in there. So my bad for uh, misspeaking. But, uh, yeah, and my bad for uh, putting someone on there who only got one correctly. I'm not going to call him out. Uh, he knows who he is. He actually, he came forth. He's like, yo, I only got one correct. Look at that. Now that's, that's, uh, that, that's, that's something. I don't know. There's a word for it. I just, I, I can't think of it right now. Um, anyway, so we're 42, 15, and 4 because we're God tier. And no one can stop the Buffalo Sabres. I mean, we've been saying that for years. Decades straight. Buffalo Sabres. Just an unstoppable force of uh, hockey greatness. And uh, it just continues here, quite clearly. So, we're going to be making a, a trade here. Now, I know um, there's some, there's some, uh controversy here and some people not agreeing some people saying yes Bjork makes sense to move out other people's like no you can he can be serviceable and yeah he could be serviceable if I used two-way forwards ever <laughs> but I simply don't so yeah he could be a solid third liner for me at some point I got him to a pretty good contract whoever's gonna get him is gonna get a pretty nifty little player on a good contract but for me yeah, I'm not, I'm really not going to use him. He would be pretty, probably pretty good on the power play. I mean, he would be good on the third line, but, um, I'm not going to have him on the third line simply because I'm going to, we're, we're looking like we're going to have a third line of grinders line. Look at Rotsalainen, look at, uh, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm sorry about overalls. Hold on. He's 80 overall. Uh, I forget, I'm forgetting his name. How dare I? Rankin. We got two, these two guys are, are going to be third line grinders. Then we just need to get someone else. I saw Sean free agency. He might be there again. Interesting. I think that's AHL though. So yeah, we're going to be calling these, uh, these guys, uh, three guys. Well, wait, three guys up. Yeah. Quinn's coming up. That's right. Um, so I, I think we trade Bjork here. So what kind of picks we got? All right. We already got five in the first two rounds. I could maybe try to trade for a higher pick with one of our one of these. I don't know if there's going to be any shit team wanting to give him up. There might be. You never know. There might be. It'll be it'll be hard to get, but you know what? If we combine a couple things together, it might work. Conservative buyer, buyer. Conservative seller, probably not. And we might actually have yeah. The thing is, we might actually have to go to the deadline for something like that to work. Because usually they don't put their picks on the block until the deadline. But if they're listed as a buyer or conservative bu buyer, then they're... Ooh, here you go. There's someone listed as a buyer. Now, it's not on the block, but they should actually want to give it up. Because they're listed as a buyer. So, I'd say give up Winnipeg's again, because they might fucking repeat. <laughs> oh... Although, hell, we might do good, too. Who knows? It's basically which one you want to give up. Anyway, uh, they should. Yeah, they want Bjork. So, Bjork plus a pick. They'd have too many skaters. Can we take back any, like, bad contracts that they have? Yeah, there you go. Gustav's nice Nyquist. Take off that bad contract off their books. And give him Bjork. I could even retain on it. And it'll, it won't be... I think the retention will only last for this year. It won't count for the extension. But let's try to not have to do that first. But yeah, let's take back Gustav Nyquist. And see... that They should actually accept this. This would be massive if we were able to, to move for this. I'd be a happy boy. No, not quite. Okay. Damn. If only that pick was on the block. Here's the thing. I I almost want to go to the deadline, so maybe they update there. But they might not up. They might actually update to seller, which would be even harder to get. This is pretty close. But let's be real. They wouldn't. They wouldn't do this. Which is fine. Can I give them back something to entice them? Something that they really, really want. They don't want any prospects by the look of it. They want NHL ready guys only. So, okay. 
Yeah, zero prospects, which is a bit unfortunate. This is that power forward, isn't it? Yep. Car. Hmm. Oh, they they want a goalie though. Weird. Huh. I could give up Sims, honestly. I have Wallstedt, who's very similar, who's got no value, and he could grow up similarly to, to Sims, and we may not need him to because of Lukanen. So I, I could throw Sims into this deal. I don't like doing that, but Lukanen's looking pretty good. It looks like he'll get to where we want him to be, and if not, we still have Wallstedt. We also have Cal Peterson signed for another year as a nice insurance policy. Let's see if we throw Sims in there. I, I would do this. I would honestly do this. For, for that kind of a pick, hell yeah. This doesn't make them that much better. I don't think this throws them into the playoffs by any means. So, okay, yeah, they accepted that. Fuck yeah. I think that's I think that's a great deal. I think that's a terrific deal right there. Sims will probably become a number one. Um, I don't know if he'll be elite elite. He's 66 to 20, which is not bad, honestly. So... But hey, we did get like we did get likely a top ten pick, hopefully maybe even a top five. So now we gotta okay, we gotta do the thing. Now I was gonna send someone down. I was gonna send down Rowney. And I will call up Rankin Sweeney Quinn. And we have what? Why does it say twenty two? How am I doing that? Huh? I trade oh, do I have to send out a defense? Wait, what I'm doing something wrong. I thought if I sent down Rowney that'd be fine, because I traded Bjork. Oh, I got to send down a defenseman of some sort. That's right. Or do I have to trade? No, oh, you have to trade one. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have to actually trade Gudas here. Let me just throw someone in. That's my bad. Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> he jumped back up to 90, 83. I mean, I'm not going to use him, but lol. Hey, maybe, you know what? Maybe I sign this guy to a couple year deal and then try to declare him. That's fucking hilarious. We trade for him, he jumps back up. All right. All right. Top six still. I'm, I'm already musing about how I can use him because he loves that first line. Interesting. Anyway, let's let's make that good ass trade. Let's just ship out good ass for something. Uh, I know I, I have, oh wait, no I don't, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So yeah, we can grab one more pick. So what can we get for Gudas? Just any pick, really, for this year. And I think I will get it for this year. There could be, well, scouting wasn't going too good, was it? Maybe I want to get it for a different year. Let me double check on that. I'm pretty sure we're finding, like, absolutely nothing. So maybe I'm better to get a later pick from a different year. Probably next year. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we were finding Jack Squat. Yeah. So maybe like some blind picks, but yeah, not a whole hell of a lot there. So I don't have to get a pick from this year. If I can get a four for Gudas, that'd, that'd be great. I'd love to get a four for next year or something. So let's uh, let's see if any team wants Radko. That's right. He's 80 overall, man. He'd be a nice little rental. Winnipeg wants him. Do we want to help? Maybe. Do, do, do we trade? Yeah, we, do, we did trade their pick, so I don't really care about how well they do now, and I want Eichel to do well. I don't know why I'm so married to that guy. Well, there's their... I mean, I'd make them slightly better. They, they're already... Yeah, I wouldn't make their defensive core that much better. I'd just give them another, like, 80 overall guy. Vegas wants them. Vegas would probably have better picks. So yeah, Ooh. speaking of the better picks though, they might be harder to trade for. <clears throat> for that actually looks like it'll go through. Let me see if I can't. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get a three. I doubt I can, but I'll try. The the blocks matching might do it. Woefully insufficient. I'll retain. Is it still woeful? Yeah, no. All right, so. 
Maybe a four. I'll do like a four or five. I'm just going to keep kind of overextending because I want to get back. Hopefully it's sufficient still. I'd like to get back something though. A little something extra if I can. Too far off. At least we're moving in the right direction. Pretty sure it's just going to be a four. Might not even be a four with the way that's kind of trending. Sweeten the value just a touch. So maybe just a four. Yeah, okay. It'll go through for just a four. So I'm still happy with that. We got a four for a red Kogudas. All right, now. Oh, yeah. Now we can make the roster move. So Rowney down. And then up. Rankin, Sweeney, Quinn. There we go. Boom. All right, now we edit these lines. The hell, what do I do about Nykvist, man? I mean, I guess I could play him right there, but... What do I, sit Skinner? All right, anyway, let's figure out defense first. Yeah, that's right. Sweeney's going to go uh, here immediately. We're going to shift Dolan over to that side. And Sweeney will go in. Okay, it will only be a top. Some, someone said that it's going to have to be all green. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, because I guess the other guy was... Yeah, 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 the, uh, it must have been... Oh, whatever, still. Plus three is fine. Plus three is honestly fine. I guess Gudas had uh, pinch balance. Yeah, I didn't check that entirely. Whatever, still, like I said, plus three is still fine. Who's out? Yeah, that's right. Oh, and Montour's almost back. Rankin. Oh, did he? <laughs> Seriously? Did the man just jump up to 83? I fucking love this team. I love our prospects, dude. They're they're gods. I could put him in the middle, but I, I really don't think he's ever going to develop good face-offs. 64 at now 83 overall. This guy's a winger, so... I guess we put him in for Twerinski. I actually might not even get plus three on this line. I think we should still get plus three. Yeah, we're still going to get plus three. Just for fun. Oof. Okay, we'll actually get plus three with a combination such as that. So that's good if we find a similar grinder to Pocket. So there we go. I'm not going to do that, though, because obviously Perfetti. I will do that, however. All right. Um, Quinn. I could just sit Skinner, honestly. He's not going to get stack growth. He'll probably actually lose it. Or I can move Skinner up and try to sustain it. Hmm, I'm really kind of torn. Nykvist ain't gonna be, well, here's the thing. Nykvist ain't gonna be good this year, so. If I do want to do that thing where I keep around Nykvist. Oh, hello. I'll get him on there one times. Should be pretty good. He's got high awareness and a good shot, so I think he does pretty well on this line. All right, so I think that I do want to maybe get him on power. Oh, he's there in the power play. Good. Rankin doesn't need to be. I could put him penalty kill. Okay, that's we don't want that. What's going on here? Hold on. Who am I missing? It's the Linens in. Rankin's in. Pockett's in. Okay. Oh, Bjork. It must. Be. Yeah, I think it was Bjork. I guess it could be Kubalik. I don't really know who else to do. We don't really have any other besides Okpozo, but I guess we throw Kubalik in. Yeah, whatever. Everything else, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, I 
I knew that. I knew that might have been off. All right, so, oops. I usually, I kind of usually edit this crap out. I didn't think it would take this long, so my bad on that. But here we are. All right, getting Jack Quinn involved. Cousins will be back towards the end of the season, so we're still gonna have to suffer without him. But we got that all set. Big oof, I might just, we don't even have any other prospects. Oh, we still got Lambert. Let me best lines it and see what it does. I don't, I don't wanna worry myself over this too much. I wanna get Lambert some good chemistry and some good help if I can. That helps with chemistry. What is this, Kanov? Playmaker, double playmaker. Two way forward. Whoa, not goal scoring. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Do your best, Lambert. You got a bunch of fucking defensemen down here anyway. All right. So that'll be that'll be that. And now we should be just about ready. I'm, do I, all right. Let me let me look at that Gustav Nyquist situation because we will be trading Duclair. Odds are you could find a better sniper in free agency. That's oh he doesn't want an extension. All right, so there goes that idea. <laughs> Cousins does man. I might I might keep Cousins around. Well, actually, well. No. No, I'm not gonna. Because I don't think... Well, maybe I do keep him around for a year. And if anything, I can play him AHL. If he doesn't have... Ooh. Here's the thing. Um, we should have... Cousins... And... Uh, Perfetti ready for top both in the top six. Well, theoretically, if Perfetti actually jumps as he should, he should be ready for top six. He's having a hell of a year. I mean, he could be better, I guess, but it's not having a bad year. Theoretically, maybe I get. I, I think. I think I should sign Cousins just as a contingency plan. I don't have my phone near me. And I don't care enough. It's going to be one year, so let me just do give him three mil for a year. And is there anyone else that I really want to sign? I think I want to sign Asplund. I really like him. There you go. Let's give him a nice three-year, two-way deal for bump him up a bit more. He'll be a be a nice depth uh, contract. Doc Pozo's done. Yeah, someone mentioned maybe try to get rid of Skinner. And I don't think we're gonna be able to yet. It's just way too many years left. I think next couple years we can maybe try to ship him out. It's not a huge issue yet. You want to try to solve it before it becomes a bigger issue, sure, but. I was also hoping to get him some stack growth at some point. We could still try. All right. So, that's that. Deadline's over. We're subtracting instead of adding, but we're integrating young guys in the lineup. We're sticking to the plan. I don't care if we're making the playoffs. We're sticking to what the plan is, and that is to continue to integrate younger guys into the lineup. And that's just what we're doing here. So let's see uh, what's going to go on around the league here. I'm very excited to see how uh, Quinn, Rankin, and uh, Sweeney do. Very kind of excited about that. Okay, Golofsson goes to the Islanders uh, from San Jose for a first, second, and Holmstrom. Golofsson in at six. Anything else? Nope. All right, Mangiapane on waivers. Montour fully healed. So let's slide him back in the lineup. Sorry, Kulak. I love your chemistry, though. It's a good thing about Kulak. I'm pretty sure that guy slips in anywhere and has... Yeah, look at that. He's actually perfect for depth. I'm going to keep this guy as long as I can. What's his contract? Hello. Okay, one more year at that. Yeah, we're going to try to keep that guy around as long as we can. All right, so Cousins is coming back uh, this next month, early this next month. All right, both guys accepted extension. I think it said like the first or the third. 
of March. Yeah, he was out for a while. Actually losing some games here. Wow. Or maybe later in March, apparently. Holy crap. And now what? When, now we're going to lose all the games? What the hell? <laughs> Bjork was holding this team together. Okay, Skinner's out with mild concussion. Do I even have a depth piece right now? Hold on. Oh, yeah, I got Nyquist. Yeah. Good lord, look at the injuries. <clears throat> Not you, Twarinski. <laughs> We've had our share of injuries this season, I ain't gonna lie. It's been... It's been a thing. Oof. Okay, Sweeney apparently had a minor injury. Now we're losing all kinds of games, man. That's kind of nuts. All right, scouting time real quick. All right, continuing on here. Apparently Jeff Skinner had a minor injury as well. Good Lord. And we are losing a shit ton of games here. We've only won twice, three times since the trades. Oh, my goodness. Apparently this is what we need to do to tank. Just put a bunch of young guys in the lineup. All right, Dylan Cousins is back. He's now can across the roster, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I actually need to... Send someone down, huh? Really? I'm trying to figure out why. Interesting. All right, well, everyone here has to clear waivers, so I guess I send... What? I'm trying to figure out what... I thought I had that calculated, even for him coming back. Apparently, I didn't. Weird. Okay, I, I guess I really do need to send him down. Alright, um... Whatever, send down Ocpozo, I guess. Alright, let's figure out what the hell I want to do for lines now. Okay, let me see how Quinn's doing. S five goals and 15 games played, seven points, not bad. So we did something like this, as we had Cousins in there. I can throw a Skinner in here. There we are. Wow, okay. <laughs> Fairly good chemistry. Now, I think I leave everything the way it is. 50 points for Perfetti. There's only a few games left. Minus for you. I don't like that. How's Sweeney been doing? Minus as well. Ugh. Oh well. Just getting him, getting him the experience. Alright, hopefully Cousins doesn't get re-injured here. It's a risk, obviously. I could leave him out till he's fully healed, on, honestly. And I might. Well, he should be actually right back. Right. In, oh, shit. Wait, no, he's not. That's after the game. So he'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's good. All right, so Cousins is now fully healed. Actually, I didn't do that. Hold on. I think the power play is wrong now. Oh, he's now in 87. Hello. Well, I could keep him on the point. They got similar face-offs. Yeah, I'll keep him on the point. That's fine. Let's just finish this year out. There are only six games left. Dude. <laughs> This year has been a hell for injuries. Luke in and out once again. Teresa's got to come up. I think Luke and got injured before. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Peterson. Peterson, whatever. In you go. Back in you go. All right, let's go. Can we hit 50 wins? We we are totally on pace for that. Good lord. Come on. There we go.
All right. Yes. Come on. Win one of these games. Nope. There we go. Yeah, all right. We at at 50 wins. We came in third in this division. So, yeah, we kind of faltered quite a bit. Uh, but, hey, who knows? All right. Let's get to the, uh, the matchup. Really? Where is it? There we are. We're taking on the Lightning in the first round. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Well, we just split a home and home with them, but yeah, good luck. Season is uh, over. Let's uh, see how we did. 50, 26, and 6. Yeah, 3, 4, 3 goals, 4, 2, 8, 9 goals against. Power play was decent. Penalty kill wasn't. I think that dropped down a lot, and I think our goals against just shot up there towards the end. Bit more down to earth, but we still had over a hundred point season, and we're in an exceedingly strong division. Three one hundred five point uh, plus point teams in this division. I'm not going to bother seeing how we rank up. We're not trying to be that elite elite team yet. Darlene led our team in points with 83. Duclair was point per game. Grandland 72 points. Cousins 59. Perfetti had 54. Really not bad. Co uh, Cousins had. 54 in 55 games played. I mean, this guy is going to be a beast. It's so unfortunate he got injured. But he's now 87. He jumped up more. He jumped up even more. Perfetti really needs to. Okay, he's now 82. He needs to have a really nice offseason. I needed to get him to like 85. He needs to jump up to like 85. That would be very, very good. Uh, Kubelik had 50 points. Really not bad. Rutzelainen and even. Not, not too shabby. Nyquist with a full season could probably get like 40 points at this pace. Maybe even better. Quinn, 8 points in 21 games played. Minus 4, not great. But it's not horrible, I guess. Uh, Sweeney, he ended up being a plus. That's good. Plus 3 in 21 games played with 5 points. But Dolly and man, 83 points in 82 games played. He might be, might be the guy. Might be the guy for the Norris here. Goalies, yeah, Lucan and... Started out real strong, did not end very strong. Got plenty of time though. You got plenty of time. You just need just one. Give me, you know, one more little jump. Get, get you up to 85, and I'll be ha I'll be satisfied. And Perfetti was the only rookie. You might, I don't know. They did have a franchise just come in, so we'll see. All right, let's uh see how it went. Stamkos. Oh, Eichel's nowhere to be found now. Stamkos, 112 points. Seriously, where is Eichel? Oh, way down there in 97. <laughs> 112 points for Stamkos. 108 for Kucherov, 103. McKinnon led the way in goals with 55. Assist leader was Rontanen with 73. Makes sense. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of abs. Yep, abs, abs, abs. Lightning, lightning. Lightning? <laughs> Okay, Patrick Marlowe with a 62-point season at age 43. Let's go. And then, yeah, that's okay. Things you don't expect to see. Game-winning goals. Uh, Drew in is the most clutch. 11 game winners. I have 28 goals. Almost a 2-1. to one. Wow. Or one out of every two, I should say. Uh, a power play goal leader, Drew in Arizona with 20. Power play point totals, tw uh, 37 for Point and McDavid. Tied. Shorties would be Oshi, TJ Soshi with four shorties. Mm, none of our guys up there. Shorty points, Couturier, wow, so Philly. All right, good for them. And we'll check out the Selkie candidates. Maybe Barzal, maybe Steele. Uh, O'Reilly's got to be considered, obviously. There's Bergeron, but less face-offs. Look at the face-off numbers. Maybe not. Uh, not Eichel. Imagine if they just played dry saddle in the middle like I figured out. Giroux! Looking like the Selkie front-runner. Yeah, close Giroux, man. Couturier's got to be mentioned. Oh, there's, uh, Barkov as well. Da uh, maybe Dano a bit. Lower face-off numbers, but he's still good. Uh, Face-off totals, I should say. Yeah, Lindholm. Going to be an interesting race, but I think uh, I think Giroux is going to take it home. At least, he sh in my opinion, he should. Watch him give it to fucking O'Reilly again. This game loves O'Reilly, and it's so stupid. God damn it, Hughes. 
You bitch! <laughs> I really wanted it for Darlene. <laughs> but Quinn Hughes gets 88 points and says no, and I don't think a plus 10 is enough to give Darlene the Norris either. So Quinn Hughes should be taking home some hardware. Other than that, man, pretty steep drop off in the way of points. Goes straight, you know, guys. 75 is the next closest one, which you know, eight below isn't isn't crazy. But man, you just wish that there's some other guys up here. Maybe oh, there's a former Norris winner right there, and there's a former Norris winner. But you know, you just want some more for, former Norris winners here in the top ten. It feels like you know, like maybe a guy who really didn't deserve a Norris, and then he's like inflated overall in this game too. But I don't know if a guy like that exists. So, oh well. Maybe I'll have to create a guy like that. All right, goaltenders, uh, Vasilevsky. Puh, I don't know if we can give a tie to anyone, really. Maybe to Price. It's close, like his re the records are vastly different. They're close in save percentage, but the goals against is much, much worse. And, yeah, it's hard. It's hard to want to give it to Price. Jari, I could, you can make, make an argument for. He had as many losses and, you know, a bunch more or less games played. But, again, it's, I think it's just Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky by himself, yeah. And, unfortunately for uh, Perfetti, Desmond Kidd was a, uh, oh, he wasn't even a franchise guy. He was uh, drafted in 21, third overall. And he's a playmaker. And had himself a good season. 63 points, 25 goals. So, oh well, Perfetti. He did good. Any rookie goalies? Skinner. Not bad, but not good enough to beat 60 something points. So, there you go. Let's do the fun stats now. Hits. No one hit 200. You guys are a bunch of bitches. Fights. There you go, poor whiskey in San Jose. He's probably accounted for all of Zach Cassian fights. Who the hell fought this guy? Like, there's no one even in the West up here. That's insane. <laughs> oh, man. There you have it. There you have it. Okay, now, before we actually look at some line, I want to check out some progress reports because I did see a bit more growth here and there. Yeah, Cousins actually got more growth. Rankin got a ton. Look at that. Look at that awareness, dude. He's actually might be a threat offensively. <laughs> He's so sick, dude. It's just so sick. He just needed to get called up, and then he just shot up. And I think he grew even more. Like, he's now 84. What a what a ridiculous, ridiculous growth you're out of him. A third-round pick, and he makes the NHL that same year. When has that ever happened? When has, like, a mid-round pick made the NHL that same year? That's just nuts. Declare, that's all stat. Same with Skinner. He might lose some of it now. Cozens. A lot of stat growth. But he's got some... Uh, some normal growth as well. Faceoffs keep going up too. Uh, Quinn actually, okay, got maybe got a bit more uh, natural growth. Needs to get himself a nice jump. Perfetti. Oh, excuse me. He does have a bit of uh, natural growth. Not a whole hell of a lot though. But hopefully he jumps. Sweetie didn't do a whole lot since we moved him. All right, let's sell. He's jumping. A lot of growth up here, but that's not really what we're after. All right, Lambert did grow and, and grew and continued to grow even more. So that's good for us. That is good for us. And he should jump too. Sh might be NHL ready next year for third line. That'll be good because we can still have Quinn to play with him. Most likely. I don't think he jumps to second line readiness. Wallstead grew. He's now at 69. Nice. Kapusta grew a little bit, not a ton. Uh, LaSalle, I'm really yeah, liking his growth. Raise a little. Uh, Volander. I mean, hell, he's, we signed this guy. He's looking like he can actually pan out to be an NHLer. I'm hoping for. I was hoping for him to basically grow slowly and become a top six, and he might actually surpass that. So he might turn into some nice trade value. Tarasov. All right, and that's pretty much it for the main guys. All right, Koski Ranta growing is very, very good for us. Hell yeah, that's very good for us. That's some good growth. Yeah, this guy should absolutely become a fourth liner. 
Maybe even maybe even more. And was this guy another guy who shit on face-offs? No, he actually had good face-offs. Good! We actually, all right, actually, I hope he becomes third line. <laughs> we'll see, though. We shall see. But he's definitely going to become at least fourth line. So that's good for us. Good growth. I like it. And we're taking on... Uh, sorry. Wait, wait, where the hell am I going? The lightning. I wanted to see playoff tree. I couldn't figure out where it was. Taking on the lightning here in the first round in the West. It is the Stars against the Win uh, the Jets, the Avs versus the uh, Predators, the Oats and the Sharks, and the Canucks and Vegas. In the East, the Battle for New York. Uh, Long Island against Manhattan. Uh, the Penguins against the Habs. The Lightning against us. And the Leafs against Philly. Only one real, real rivalry there. Uh, I guess you could say in the West there's only kind of one real rivalry. And I guess maybe Dallas and Winnipeg a bit since they're both in the Central... Sharks and the Coyotes, that's one from, you know, the 2000s. <laughs> when Arizona used to have those Kachina jerseys full-time and do the whiteout. Which I'm pretty sure they inherited from Winnipeg, and now Winnipeg is stolen back. And, well, Coyotes, when's the last time they are really doing anything in the playoffs? Alright, so let's see what, uh... I want to see where Marlowe's playing. Is he playing with fucking first line? Because he had the plus-minus for it. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking beast! Patty Marlon on the first line with Stamkos and Kucherov at age 43 at a 60-something point year. God damn, I love you. Uh, Kalor and Point Radish scored yo, uh, Johnson and Joseph. Komarov, that's a yeah, pretty good center. Yeah, it's, it's still a good team. Still very scary. Very good defensive core. Well, they're actually playing Hedman there, huh? Must be for chemistry. And then, of course, Vasilevsky. He sucked last year in the playoffs, though. And for depth, they got Lemieux, Moran, they got McDonough injured. Pretty good team, though. Pretty good team. I mean, we might have a chance, though. You never know. Probably not. <laughs> this is our first line. We got some good chemistries, though, so I mean... Okay, good. He still has his second line. Still going to play him in his role. You never know what can happen. You never know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't foresee us uh, beating this team, but you never know. Game one. On the road. I have no clue what their arena is called. Rochester. Fitzgerald out with an injury. Come on. There you go, Akpozo. Have fun. I, I don't care. I really don't care. Game about this like at all it's my HL we got like a, a, an entire bottom six of defensemen I could have put Ogpozo in there but I just chose not to Ugh. all right we lost game one five to one pretty handy defeat right there game two uh, we won that three to two we came back we even the series up respectable now we're now we're on home ice baby anything can happen anything can happen it's a series now a team is lost on home ice the series is officially started Jeez, we scored enough but couldn't keep the puck out. Game three, four. We won. Okay, we're fine in ways of scoring Vasilevsky. Trash playoff goaltender confirmed. Good job, game. Two to two series. A pivotal game five on the road. And we win it two to one. No way. No fucking way. We're going to do it, aren't we? Yes, we are. We beat the Tampa Bay Lightning and move on to the second round in six. What a game. What a game. We are the cheese team. We are the cheese team taking on Toronto now in the second round. Oh, ba oh my god, Duclair. Nine goals in six games played. Good lord, how do you even give this guy up? Well, we might not have to because we should actually have two top five picks. So we could be able to hold on to Duclair here. Might be able to hold on to him. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look at There we go. Four goals, four. Uh, three and a third goals against. Terrible power play. Terrible penalty kill. Just terrible special teams all around. But we won. <laughs> that's what. That's what's really important. We fucking won. We did it. All right. So Duclair with 12 points. 10 points for Grandlin. Nine for Cousins and Perfetti with. All right, good. Perfetti with four. That's a huge drop off though. Pretty big drop off. Darlene with five points. Might yeah. Him and Sweeney struggling. To shut things down together. Uh, Peterson. 
Lukanen stepped in and didn't do so hot. I looked like he played an entire game. <laughs> well, not really, because, yeah, he didn't play a whole game. He got yanked. That was probably that crazy game where we allowed eight or something. Yeah. All right. Well, Peterson's still the guy. Taking on the Leafs now. This, all right, this team should beat us, right? This this team will beat us. It's the Leafs. Like, come on. They got, it's, it's, it's not real life, so they're out of the first round. They got Hyman. They still have Hyman. They got Hyman, Matthews, Marner. Mulgan, Tavares, Nylander, Robertson, Kerfoot, Chason, Anderson. This is just a full offensive team, essentially. Pretty sick. Pretty good. Yeah, this is a good defensive core, too, man. This is a pretty solid defensive core. And goaltender. They got Tuka Rask now. They got him back. Oh, my God. Look at those numbers. They got Tuka time back. And look at those numbers. Wow. Wow, okay. We got our work cut out for us, but we're the cheese team, so we're going to absolutely eat them for lunch. Let's go. Let's destroy their dreams right now. Immediately. Game one. Oh, baby. We won 5-2. to two. Game two. No! Another concussion, this guy. This poor guy. Oh, God. Thank God this isn't real life. He would be in so much trouble. His career would be so fucked right now. Or Asplin, we're just going to throw him in. It's he will, He'll be back in a couple days, so I'm not going to worry about shifting too many things. What I could do, however, is move up Cousins. Cousins. We got to get rid of the other Cousins, man. Nah, I'm not going to move him. He's fucking killing it. <laughs> we won in overtime. We won both games on the road. Jack Quinn battled through a minor injury. We lost in overtime on home ice. Are they going to they gonna do the thing? Oh, we win 3-1 to one series lead. I don't know if this is for the game or not, but I guess we'll find out. Cozen's back in. Eight games played, ten points. Lost in OT. All right, game six on home ice. Lol. Okay, they forced the game seven. This is this is where we die. This is absolutely where we die in game seven here, unless we cheese it. Do we cheese it? Do we get the cheese? Maybe. They're a really good team. Let's get the cheese. Game seven. I'm not changing the thing. This is hilarious. Let's go. Let's go, Buffalo. Tear their asses up. Power play. Can't capitalize. Rip. Oh, man. We're out shooting them like crazy. And Jeff Skinner. Jeff Skinner. Buffalo legend makes it one nothing on Tuka Rask. And we are dominating this Leafs team in games. What the fuck is this? 23 shots to 5 after one, and Tuka Rask is under siege. That's what you get for no defense, Toronto. They can't even counterattack right now. It's the fourth line grinder line shutting them down, baby. Second period. Let's go. We need more goals. Damn it. I knew this going to happen. Oh, fuck. Robertson ties it at 1. Oh, the Cousins makes it 2-1, baby. And Morgan Riley ties it right back up. Yeah, they're going to get no shots with score a lot. Duclair with a power play goal, however, makes it 3-2 again. All right. All right. Even back and forth period here. A big game, a tug of war. But we have the advantage. <laughs> Going into the third period, doubling them in shots, 34-17 to with a one-goal lead. Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh, my God. Jack Quinn. All the young guns are stepping up here. 4-2. to two. 4-2 for Buffalo. Are we going to do it? The dominating performance here in Game 7. They get a power play. A long opportunity. Grinder took a fiver. Five minutes left. Can we hit 50 shots? No, we can't. But we will come away with the victory in Game 7. 49 shots. Unreal. We still doubled them. <laughs> and a 4-2 victory in Game 7. And we're off to the Conference Finals. Duclair, two points. Cozens, two points. And Darlene with two assists. Oh my god, what the hell? The cheese is real, baby. The cheese is real. Oh my god, it's stinky. It is stinky. We're taking on the Rangers in the conference finals. Oh my god, Duclair. <laughs> how, do, how do I fucking trade this guy? Seriously, how do I trade this guy? Why, why, why? Just why is this team so good? Coaching, I guess, huh? It's all about the coach. Uh, 377331 at 19% power play. 
Jesus. <laughs> Penalty kill is awful. Oh boy. Dude, Claire with 19 points. Darlene, jeez. All right, but forwards. Cousins with 12 and 10. Perfetti's now got 11 and 13. Skinner, Kubla, Quinn. Quinn, five goals, though. It ain't too bad, considering where he's playing. Only one. Only one point in the power plane. It's a goal. Darlene, though, man. <laughs> Sweeney's still without a point. Hey, he's a plus five. That's all we care about. <laughs> Lukanen got some more time in there, got himself credited with a win at least. So, hey, I'm just going to leave rotations like as the way they are because he's getting a little bit of experience at least. And he's got an above 90 save percentage now, so that's good. Neither goaltender is uh, standing out by any means. But here we go. Taking on the rags in the conference finals. Another battle for New York. Uh, what am I doing here? There, Panarin, Strom, Lafreniere, Bushnevich, Hedl, Kako, Kraft. Jesus, that's a deep. That is a deep roster. No wonder, and a pretty deep defensive core. And they got Halak, and he's crushed it. Paling out. Jesus, man, they're deep. They're really, really deep. I got some minor injuries here and there, sure, but they're exceedingly deep, man. Kind of scary. Wow. Okay. Well, let's do the thing. Let's just do the thing. We've been doing it all, all freaking playoffs for some reason. Let's go. Game one, hold my advantage. Lose four to two, unfortunate. Game two, lose three to two. Uh oh. You may have met our match. You know what? No, I'm, I'm leaving the team as it is. This team got us there. They're going all the way. I, I want to scout. I do want to scout because it is still important. So I'm going to do that. All right. <laughs> we lost the next game too. So yeah, we are our backs against the wall. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, I'll just, I don't care. Oh, we won one. Two to one. Roots the line in. Oh, he was he was injured. That's why. Uh oh, we won two in a row. We forced a game six. Watch out, New York. We're coming. Reverse sweeps coming, bitch. Oh, <laughs> we lost an OT. Wow, what a run. R what a run. What a run for these Buffalo Sabres who go to game six in the conference finals and fall. But what a season it was. <laughs> what the hell, man? Ugh. Finally, the ratio came uh, closer. Wow. Duclair, though. 23 points in 19 games played. Grand with 18. Cozens with 16. Point per game. Perfetti got up to 16. Good lord. And he was third line with power play. Only five of those, man. So he had 11 points, five on five in 19 games played, playing third line. That's huge. That's depth. 12 points for Kubelik, Cousins, Skinner, Rotsalainen. Rotsalainen! Now, I remember, I remember, I did miss that someone said you should change to a sniper. Why bother? Look at him. <laughs> He's a grinder, son. 5-8 grinder. Ranking out of some assists. Some minuses here and there, of course. Sweeney finally got some points. He got a goal and an assist and almost led the team in plus-minus in the playoffs. Just one behind Montour. And, yeah. Neither goalie did fantastic <laughs> or good, but hey, we, we made it all the way to the conference finals despite that, so still pretty good. Still a pretty good run led by Duclair, who is now in his prime, and we may not have to trade him at anymore. I, I might still trade him because how long is that going to last, really? How long can we keep him doing his thing, but what a time it's been for Duclair. And I just want to see who's who's facing each other. Is it? Oh, well, Winnipeg got beaten the in the second round. So ten, <laughs> of course, of course, the pick we traded will actually be better than the pick we hold on to. <laughs> that that's why. That's why it happened. Oh man. <laughs> At least I think. Actually, no, that might not work that way because they might have had a better. I I can't. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Anyway, there it was. There is the season. <laughs> And, uh, 
What a run that was indeed. So let me know what you guys think heading into this draft. Hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.